this is what we found right before they got it. This is what we were asking about. For cadets at the Air Force Academy, being two-time cyber defense exercise champions comes with a price. It is certainly the case that the Air Force Academy was a target having won two years in a row. This National Security Agency exercise is designed to test participants' ability to create and defend a computer network. It's a complex network. It has email, it has web, it has files, it has a user sitting on the network doing everything that you would hope they wouldn't do. For cadets, being defending CDX champions is certainly a matter of pride. Ultimately, though, it was the preparation leading up to the exercise that led to their success. The competition is important to us, winning is important to us, but we spent about a month, month and a week preparing for this competition, learning how to set up all these important services. And the cadets did a fabulous job of building the network. They defended the network against the Red Cell longer than any of the other schools. Uh, we did a little worse at our availability. We ended up having a little worse uh, time with the Red Cell later in the exercise. Placing second didn't diminish the Air Force effort. And the winner of the CDX 2014 IED trophy is the United States Military Academy. In fact, the Air Force team placed first in the forensics portion of the exercise and was the last team to have a system compromised by the NSA. I was very impressed by the team. They put out a lot of effort. We responded very well to what the NSA threw at us, and they definitely threw a lot at us. John Zanone, the United States Air Force's Academy.